What's up, podcaster? It's Ben here from Podcast Pros with a podcast hosting comparison. And today we're comparing Buzzsprout to Podbean. So if you've been debating between those two hosts, this video will help you make the right decision. And once you've made your choice, there are links to both hosts in the description box and the pinned comment. We're gonna break down these two hosts based on three categories. The first being features, second being price, and third being ease of use. And each will be out of a score of 10 for a total possible score of 30. So let's get right into it. Buzzsprout does give you a lot to work with. For starters, like most podcast hosts, they provide super easy distribution to all the different podcast directories. So it makes it very easy to get listed where people can actually listen to your show. Custom episode publishing, as well as the ability to schedule episodes to be released at a later date. They also have a feature called Magic Mastering, and this feature is actually exclusive to Buzzsprout. So what Magic Mastering does is if you upload an episode up to Buzzsprout and you've paid for the additional Magic Mastering service, it actually treats the audio, it levels it out, it makes it sound a lot better. This is huge if you're using two different microphones or say it's an online call, it normalizes the audio. It makes it far more friendly on the ear. So this is an extra paid add-on, but it does a ton of the editing work for you. And there's quite a dramatic difference before and after when you use Magic Mastering. For podcasters looking to monetize their show, Buzzsprout provides two different solutions. The first is their exclusive affiliate hub. So essentially what they've done is they've reached out to brands that are highly reputable and have great affiliate programs. And they've negotiated for even better affiliate opportunities exclusive to Buzzsprout users. So if you are a Buzzsprout user, you get access to this affiliate hub so you can start making money right off the bat through using these offers. They also have the ability to integrate your show with Podcorn, which makes it very easy to find sponsorship for your shows. Buzzsprout also allows you to manage your shows and upload content all from your mobile device. Buzzsprout's very much community driven and this is shown through their content and presence on social media. From their blog to their YouTube channel, they have a ton of very helpful resources to really guide you through anything that you'd wanna do with your podcast. In addition to this, they also have a Facebook group with over 10,000 members that are all Buzzsprout users that are very eager to help you with anything Buzzsprout or podcast related. Buzzsprout also allows you to create audiograms or what they call visual sound bites, which are great tools that you can use to promote your show on social media. All of Buzzsprout's plans also give you a podcast website that can act as a mobile app, but it's not a true native app, meaning it's not one that you could just go download from the app store directly. Buzzsprout also provides automatic episode optimizations so that you don't have to worry about choosing the right file type when you're uploading audio to your host. They also offer on-platform transcription and an embeddable podcast player, which makes it very easy to embed specific episodes on a certain pages on your website. They also give you the ability to put in chapter marks, which makes it very easy to highlight specific points within the episode, making it very easy for your listeners to jump to the significant points within the episode. One point of note on that one is that not every podcast directory has this feature built in, so it'll only work on those that actually allow it to happen. All of Buzzsprout's plans allow for unlimited team members, meaning you can have as many people as you want helping you to manage and operate your show. All their plans also come with unlimited storage. What you get more of as you move up the tiers is more upload time per month. Some recent additions to features on Buzzsprout is you now have the ability to import your podcast stats from your previous host. So when you're switching over to Buzzsprout, you can actually import all of those download numbers so that you never lose the downloads that you've worked so hard to achieve. They've also added some dynamic content features in the form of dynamic pre and post roles for an episode or all of your episodes. And what that allows you to do is change either an intro or an outro to your episode to highlight whatever you're trying to promote at that time. This is great for working with sponsors because you can also offer sponsorship on all of your previous episodes in the form of changing the dynamic pre or post role. So in layman's terms, there's a piece before and after an episode and you can change that live without actually changing the physical episode, meaning the episode stays the way it was, but you can change the beginning or the end to suit whatever need you have at the time. So that was a lot for even me to say. So that definitely speaks to how many features Buzzsprout gives you. So obviously they scored very well in this category. We gave them an eight out of 10. And the only reason they didn't score even higher is for a few nitpicky things. The first is that for every paid plan, you only get one show, meaning that if you do want to have more than one show, you are going to have to pay for its own allotment of hours. You can manage it on the same Buzzsprout account, but you do have to pay per show per month. And the other things we're being nitpicky about is it would be nice to have a private podcast hosting option. A lot of the other hosts out there do offer this and Buzzsprout doesn't. And the final thing that we're really nitpicking here is that Magic Mastering is a feature exclusive to Buzzsprout that we love, but it is behind a paywall, meaning that if you do want to use that for your show and we highly recommend it, you do have to pay for that in addition to what you're paying for already to host your show. So that's the reason it didn't score even higher, but eight out of 10, a very, very solid score. And we are very happy with Buzzsprout's features. Moving on to price, all of Buzzsprout plans are very affordable and you do get a ton for what you're paying for and they even have a completely free option but with that free option they only host your episodes for 90 days 
but it is a fantastic way to really experiment and get your hands on Buzzsprout and see if you like it before upgrading to a paid plan. But even Buzzsprout's paid plans are all very affordable and you do get a ton of value for what you're paying for. What you get more of as you upgrade to the higher tiers is more upload time. So depending on how much content you're gonna be uploading per month in terms of time will depend on which tier you have to go for. So with all that being said, we still think Buzzsprout has fantastic value regardless of which plan you go for. So we gave them an eight out of 10 when it comes to price. Finally, moving on to ease of use. This is where Buzzsprout really, really shines. This is their core focus as a business. They wanna give you everything that you could possibly want as a podcaster, but they only give you a feature if they can make it extremely simple and very easy to use. And that is a core focus of theirs through and through with everything that they offer. And on top of their features being very straightforward and easy to use, they also give you a ton of support in the forms of their YouTube channel, their blog, and the Facebook group with over 10,000 members. So it's unlikely that you'll ever have any problems or confusion with using the service. But if you ever do, there is a ton of support to help you. So for all those reasons, we gave them a 10 and a 10 when it comes to ease of use, because this is really their core focus as a business. So overall across the three categories, Buzzsprout scored a 26 out of a possible 30 points. We are massive fans of Buzzsprout and we think it's a fantastic option for you and your show. So let's get right into it and start off with features. And this is definitely gonna be the longest category because Podbean gives you a ton of features to play with. Podbean's been in the podcast hosting space for over 10 years now. So they are one of the original and trusted names within podcast hosting. They also have their own mobile podcasting app and player with a ton of users. All of Podbean's plans come with podcast stats. All plans also include a podcast website, but something that's specific to Podbean is that they give you full access to change the code to really customize the design of your website. And on that website, on their paid plans, you can actually integrate your own domain. So if you own a domain name for your show or for your business, you can use that on the podcast's website. They also offer custom episode publishing and the ability to schedule episodes to go live at a later date. You can also manage and publish podcast episodes all from your mobile device. Podbean also offers an embeddable podcast player, which makes it very easy to embed specific episodes onto your website. And they also have an integration with MailChimp, which makes it very easy to capture emails to then later use for email marketing. You can also use their mobile app to create your own podcast and you can edit all the audio and capture all the audio within the app. For podcasters looking to monetize their show, Podbean gives you a ton of ways to do this. They provide a Patreon program, which makes it very easy for you to sign up your listeners as patrons to contribute to your show every single month. You can sell access to your show through subscription, but you can get even deeper than that and charge for specific episodes. They also have an ads marketplace, which makes it very easy to connect with sponsors and get them to run ads on your show. Podbean also gives you the ability to live stream your episodes and your guest hosts can call in live. And with these live streams, you can even sell tickets to your listeners to grant them access to this live stream. And you also have the ability to receive virtual gifts from your listeners when they're listening to the live stream. Podbean is also one of the few hosts that allows for video podcasts. So if you're looking to incorporate video, Podbean can do that. They also offer a business plan for podcast networks or larger businesses. So regardless of who you are, there's definitely an option for you on Podbean. So those are all of Podbean's core features. And as you can see, they give you a ton to work with. So naturally, they scored very well within this category. We gave them a nine out of 10 when it comes to features. They give you so much to work with. If you wanna do something with your podcast, you probably can with Podbean. So now moving on to pricing. Because Podbean has so many features, they split up the access to these features depending on which tier or which plan you opt for. They do have a completely free option, which gives you five hours of total storage and 100 gigabytes of monthly bandwidth. With the free option though, a lot of the cool features that make Podbean so compelling aren't included. So you're probably going to opt for a paid plan. Their paid plans start off very affordable at $9 per month when paid yearly and 14 when paid monthly. And they move up in price depending which features you want access to. If you use the link down below and head over to Podbean's pricing page, you'll see how their different tiers are structured and which features come with which plan. That'll make it very easy for you to see which plan that you have to go for to get the features that you really want. Podbean also scored very well in this category because we love the fact that they have a completely free plan and even their paid plans are very affordable for the value that you get out of them. And that's why we gave them an eight out of 10 when it comes to price. So now moving on to ease of use, as mentioned earlier in the features category, there is a ton to work with here. So naturally those are all things that you're going to have to learn. And some of the more complex features, there's a more of a steeper learning curve to really get the most out of them. So they do give you a ton to work with, but for some people it may almost be too much and a little overwhelming. They do give you a ton of support and because Podbean has been around for a long time and they are a very popular host, there is a ton of resources on 
on Podbean's website and on YouTube and blogs, etc. But there is a bit of a learning curve compared to some of the other podcast hosting options, but it is a necessary evil to have all these different features that Podbean gives you. So that definitely shouldn't scare you away because all of their features are very approachable, but naturally they're gonna take a little more time to learn because you have so much more to play with. And that's why we scored Podbean an eight out of 10 when it comes to ease of use, because they give you so many features. They're not the plug and play very simple solution that some of the other hosts are, but naturally that comes with having all of these advanced features. So they give you a ton to work with, but obviously you're gonna have to spend a little bit of time figuring out how to use them to maximize your use of Podbean. Overall across all three categories, we scored Podbean a 25 out of a possible 30 points. We are massive fans of Podbean and all that they offer to podcasters. Once again, there are links to both Buzzsprout and Podbean in the description box and the pinned comment. Full disclosure, those are affiliate links, meaning the channel will earn a small commission if you use them, but it's at no additional expense to you. And you also get some bonuses through signing up with those links. The Buzzsprout link will get you a $20 Amazon gift card and the Podbean link will get you a free month trial. So after watching this breakdown, we wanna hear from you. Which host are you gonna go with, Buzzsprout or Podbean? Let us know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more podcasting videos. I'll see you in the next one.